Hey, what's up guys? As some of you know, Ubisoft is releasing title update 3.0 for Ghost Recon Breakpoint on September 15th. Update holds 10 new story missions from the new adventure called Red Patriot. And finishing the missions you'll get 26 high quality rewards. I'll put a link below for the patch notes if you want to take a look for yourself. Update is mostly story related and for me as a PvP player I'm going to focus more on the PvP side of the update. Firstly, we'll get a new class called Pathfinder. And no, it's not the same class we had in Wild Dance, quite the opposite. Pathfinder's special ability is called Armaros Interface, which means you can hack and take control of an Azrael drone. Drone then can be used against enemies or just to look around the map for a short period of time. For able to take control of the drone, you'll need to pick up special tools called uplink protocols. In PvE this is relatively easy, as your passive skills allows you to identify these tactical caches. Another passive skills are called Scout Vision, which is a white hot thermal vision and wild metabolism which helps ration effects last longer and make them more powerful. Okay, now, when I first saw Pathfinder's special ability, I thought there's no way we can use that in PvP. But it turns out, we indeed have access to it in PvP. It is a little bit harder to get in PvP than in PvE, because you actually need to find four uplink protocols to fill up the special ability gauge. I'm not sure how effective the drone will be, since it is pretty easy to shoot down and it kinda gives away your position easily, so you need to act fast with it. Within the drone you have four different projectiles in your disposal. Scan, Lure, Flash and the most fun one, Strike. Here's some footage from me using the Azrael drone. Second PvP related update is a new map called Riverbank. Riverbank is a rectangular shaped, pretty even terrain map with a bridge in the middle. Surveillance system is located under the bridge. I've only tested the map out in a custom lobby, so I'll have to see how it actually feels in actual firefight. That's it for me. Those are the main updates for me at least. Ubisoft said they fixed the DMR glitch once again and implemented various bug fixes, so let's hope they are indeed fixed. They also released second round of changes and updates to the gunsmith. You can read about the changes in the patch notes. Thanks for watching, catch you all next time. Successful hack. Enemy positions have been revealed.